Hi, Alan Stratton here from CostMatters.com. Invariably, when the subject of costing comes up, the discussion evolves to a discussion of possible allocation basis, or ways that cost can be distributed to products. However, this initially polite discussion often de degenerates into arguments, could we say battles, over who's doing what to whom with the product cost. To keep these management discussions polite, a few simple rules are in order. Any contest must have rules that are accepted by all participants. Even a demolition derby has rules. In sports, referees and umpires enforce these rules and assess penalties for their infraction. No referees or umpires work in business, but finance and product managers still must follow these costing rules. Rule 1. Charge directly whenever possible. While charging may be a foul in basketball, direct charging is encouraged in costing. The classic examples of direct charging are direct material and direct labor. There are others. Direct material is easily measured to products using it. Direct labor is also easily traced to the product that the employees worked on. For a certain bank's cash services department, an armored car service was hired. The contract specified the branches served, cost per branch, and cost for other special services. In this case, the cost did not need an allocation basis. The armored car service invoice provided sufficient information to directly assign the service to the respective branch banks. Direct charges cannot require an instant replay. Lean manufacturing often finds great value in dedicating equipment and employees to value streams. Value streams are the processes required for similar products. Where this degree of dedicated resources exist, there's no need for cost allocation. This is a direct assignment. For good costing in a lean environment, the products in the value stream must be homogeneous in their usage of the dedicated resources. Otherwise, a foul may be called and, allocate, and the allocation bout begins again. Rule 2. Follow cause and effect usage. Here's where the principles and methods of activity-based cost, or ABC, bear fruit. ABC uses a two-stage, or more, cause and effect chain to direct cost of resources consumed. First, the resource cost is assigned, not allocated, to activities representing the work done. This assignment uses a measure called a resource driver to quantify resource consumption. The cost of an activity represents the cost of all resources consumed in performing the activity. Secondly, the activity cost is assigned to products or services or customers that are the outputs of the business. This assignment uses a measure called an activity driver to quantify activity consumption. The cost of these products, services, and customers represents the cost of all activities consumed to produce the product, provide the service, or serve the customer, respectively. Where direct charging is not possible, ABC is the next best alternative, as long as the model builders follow cause and effect. If they forget cause and effect, but still call it ABC, it's a foul. Rule 3. Don't forget rules 1 and 2. Warren Buffett's investing rules are Rule 1. Don't lose money. And Rule 2. Don't forget Rule 1. For costing, we'll insert a new Rule 2. Now, just don't forget Rule number 1 and Rule number 2. So, Rule number 4. There is no Rule 4. If you've broken Rule 1, charge directly, or Rule 2, follow cause and effect, and especially Rule 3, don't forget Rules 1 and 2, you deserve what you get. While there are no formal business referees blowing whistles, following these three simple costing rules makes the game much more enjoyable and profitable. What are your cost allocation horror stories? Please share these below as instant replays at costmatters.com. When cost matters, profits soar. This is Alan Stratton from costmatters.com. Thank you.